Hello friends! Can wild animals really be friends with people? Can they really feel sad and miss someone they've grown attached to? Today, I'm going to tell you an incredible story about one animal's behavior right after his best friend's death. Now let us get transported to the Komi Republic, located in the extreme northeast of the eastern part of Russia. The virgin nature of the Republic is included in the UNESCO World Heritage List. About 4,000 bears live in the Komi Republic, while the Kinyas Pogoski district is the region most densely populated by bears. And that's where this incredible story happened. A man lived in this area, completely alone. His parents died a long time ago, and he never started a family of his own. The elderly man often went fishing or hunting in the forest, and what he didn't eat, he sold. That's how he lived until one incredible incident. One morning, he went fishing in one of the mountain rivers, just as he always did. About an hour later, the fisherman noticed a small bear being carried by the river current. The man didn't hesitate and quickly stepped into the water. He reached the bear cub in two jumps and picked him up. The cub was probably trying to catch a trout up the river, but he must have slipped and fallen into the water. After waiting all day for the cub's mother to come for her baby, the man realized that she must have been killed by poachers. The man felt sorry for the cub, so he took the little bear home. As time went on, the animal grew into a huge bear. He looked intimidating, but he was actually very well-natured. The animal was so used to being around people that he walked around the village without bothering anyone. People also quickly got used to his presence and weren't even afraid of the animal. However, the man who took in the bear soon got ill afterwards and passed away. He had no relatives, so he was buried at the church cemetery. Everyone in the village felt very sad over the man's death because he was a good person. Moreover, the locals started worrying about what would happen to the bear now. Since the animal was domesticated, he was highly unlikely to be able to survive in the wild. However, it looked like the bear had his own take on the situation. The day after his friend's death, he left the village and no one ever saw him again. As time passed, the villagers started forgetting all about this incident. But then, three years later, another lonely man died and was buried in the same cemetery. When the people got to the cemetery, they immediately drew attention to the grave of the man who used to live with the bear. It was well trodden by some regular visitor. People wondered who could have been visiting the grave, since the man had no relatives. So they decided to watch the grave to find out who the mysterious visitor was. The secret was revealed shortly, and the locals couldn't believe their eyes. It was actually the bear that had disappeared immediately after the funeral. Apparently, the animal had been coming to his friend's grave all this time. The bear sat on the grave for a long time and made a sound very similar to a weak roar filled with sadness. The animal looked exhausted and emaciated. He seemed to be missing his friend a lot. Seeing such a devoted animal touched the villagers' hearts, and they decided to start bringing food to the grave for the loyal bear. No one knew how the bear managed to find the man's grave, but the fact that he regularly came to visit his friend is truly admirable. And that's all for today, friends. If you enjoyed watching this amazing story, please hit the like button and don't forget to share your thoughts on it in the comment section under the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.